knock, knock, motherfucker. It's the United States of America, and I hear you guys got oil that isn't under my procession. Basically, the premise is you're an oil tycoon, and you're trying to get a whole bunch of oil. We're going to do a little three mole two dowser strat. All right. All right. Chill. Okay, so we got a couple homies here. These little smug little homies waving their hats around like they know some. Even though we can already see the oil. At least below the, the right moles guy, we already know it's there. That's why I like the moles. The moles get, get it done without being in your face about it. Unlike the dowsers with their silly little top hats and... Is that even a top hat? What is that? I don't know what that is, but I digress. We're, we got some oil. We're pulling it over to the right side. Right now we're at 110, which is actually pretty solid. Um, and climbing, so, you know, if that just goes on forever, that'd be kind of cool. Gonna drill over under this smug little dude. See if we can find the oil he's looking at. We don't have to dig for too long. We actually have insane oil prices on the right side, which is awesome. Um, that just means that we don't have to build a silo early. And we can just keep selling as much as we pull out of the ground. And see how much we can get. So let's see, we're gonna grab a couple more horses. It's still going, we're at 145, that's insane. Usually a good oil price is like $1, 110 per barrel. We're looking at 143 super early on. That's just gonna jumpstart everything, which is fantastic. I'm, I'm jumping a, a mole down here. I think this is oil because moles, we have an upgrade so moles will highlight the water areas. I want to check. Okay, yeah, it is. Just want to make sure that it actually is oil and not something else. <laughs> so that we don't have some water that we start drilling into. So the oil on the right side is going down a little bit. That's probably going to mean we pull off a little here. Let's upgrade wagons. I want to make sure we don't spill out of the left rig here. And we do... Start pulling some more oil here. This is a huge oil pocket on the left. Now one thing I will say, normally what I'll do is have at least one or two horses always selling. And we actually want to pull them over to the left side here. Doing better than the right. The right side's crashing prices. Um, but at the very minimum, right, we can get some income. Because as you can see, we have no money. We're poor. We're poor little babies. <laughs> we need to get some money just so that we can keep building the infrastructure that we're looking for. Because we've unlocked petrol. Now petrol is one of the new things in this DLC. And essentially what it is, is you can refine the oil and then sell it to the petrol stations, which is oil left and oil right when you switch it. And those just give you a bunch more money. The difference being you can't just pull it straight out of the ground as crude oil. We got to build these little refineries here. And the refineries need water, otherwise they overheat. Um, now we're drilling here, I do see that we have an oil pocket that we crossed over. <laughs> Importantly, pipes cannot intersect, but it looks like we'll be able to just barely sneak a pipe in here. Don't have to do any weird zigzagging or anything. And that's really uh, one of the big changes that I've seen in this DLC is just the amount of planning and coordination. Now the base game, you really didn't have to do much, right? They had water, but it was kind of just to make you pump oil quicker. And that was about it. It was kind of whatever. But now you actually need to integrate water pipelines into your setup. So yeah, we're, we're gonna have to have a dedicated water supply line for the refineries and a dedicated oil supply line for the oil. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of a tricky situation. You gotta actually plan it out um, without even knowing where all of it is. So that's why I really like the moles here. Um, you can, if you remember the base game, you can get a scanner and just like scan pockets of the ground to look for stuff. Honestly, I think it's more expensive than it's worth. I haven't even purchased the upgrade yet because the moles can search out for water, which I think is much better than just hope essentially that you're going to find something in the ground. So you can see the the petrol is switched over on the left side. Now we can see the petrol price is 283. That's pretty good. Usually I think the target is $3 is like solid. Like you should start selling a bunch. 
but 280 is enough to warrant selling a little bit, I think. Now we're actually overloading a little- What the heck are these horses doing? Dude, what the heck is that all about? <laughs> I placed three horses next to the right rig and then they just go zooming off to the left. That's ridiculous. Let's switch over the right oil. Turn them into a petrol station. See how it compares to the left petrol. And yeah, you can see here we actually get a, a cheaper pipeline price if we go from a water supplied pipe. But I, it, it's kind of tough because we also need to get the oil here. <laughs> so we might actually end up doing a little zigzag thing after all. Because we, we want to get all of the water into these three refineries. This is another thing. The DLC is much more involved. Oh crap, we're gonna... <laughs> There's another oil pocket. Yeah, the DLC is much more involved than the base game. So... If you've ever played the base game, you know a lot of time you're sitting there just kind of hold X to fast forward and wait for the oil to pump as you wait for the prices to move. Those days are gone, as, as a, but a distant memory now. Instead, we're going to be sitting here constantly having to keep track of all sorts of things. We got to make sure our refineries don't overheat, make sure that we manage our resources well, keep looking at prices looking for new oil pockets there's no shortage of things to do in this game you really have to be on the entire year that's how long each one is we go for a year you are in june 12th right now so yeah it's it's gonna be a little tricky um let's actually turn off these refineries a little bit we don't want to waste water because our petrol prices are horrendous right now And now I do see we have more oil down here, so we're gonna build over. Do another layer of this weird zigzag we got going here. I think we'll actually try to upgrade the the water pipelines, maybe? Definitely need to upgrade this oil one. We have a huge pocket here that we need to drain quickly. I'm hoping that's the last of the oil pockets. Now, of course, more oil is generally better, but I don't know if we're going to have time for any more. And we'd have to do this weird loop-de-loop -loop around another layer of this zigzag around our water pipeline. And we found more oil. <laughs> Fortunately, okay, the right side oil is pretty easy to get around. We'll just extend this guy over. Now I think we'll try upgrading this this water pipeline, see if we can pull some extra water and keep the refineries cooking. Now our petrol on the right is taking off right now. It's looking like we're hitting a boom. Um, let's start going here, we're overloading. We need to get... Lord, please don't spill. <laughs> if you spill, you get fined for like environment damages or something. So ideally we avoid that and it's spilling over again on the right. Nobody is coming to help. Okay. This is this is a problem. We need to <laughs> we need to manage our manage our everything a little better. 379 is insane. 380. Can we hit four? I've never seen anything hit four before. But maybe there's a chance. I'm not sure. Let's ex expand this water pipeline as well. I don't know if it works the same for water. If it'll like pull water quicker. I'm hoping it does. Because <laughs> we need it. It doesn't really look like it is though. It's kind of just doing its own thing. Maybe water doesn't doesn't pull quicker with larger pipes. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Um, but anyway, uh, maybe we would just need to upgrade these middle pipes to have it go quicker. I don't know. Kind of confusing. But yeah, so we got... We still have a ton of oil to pull from the center one. We're running out of water in our refineries. Uh, so we can't convert any to petrol. Which is a struggle because we have... We are kind of getting stocked on oil right now. I'm just going to start filling up some homies here. Fast forward a little bit. I guess we can start refining with what little water we have available. 
And this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Okay, okay. One of the horses came to our rescue. I think we just gotta sell. 287 is fine. That's that's enough to sell in a pinch, I think. Oh my lord, is that another? <laughs> is that another oil pocket down there? And we're overheating. See, this is where we're getting tricky. Yeah, we gotta expand over here now, too. That is highly unfortunate. Um, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna be zigzagging, I think, is the play. We're just gonna zigzag all over the place <laughs> and see what happens. Let's swap the oil right from petrol, because I think we're gonna just need to start selling oil at this rate. Oh god, we're spilling. Um, yeah, because we are we don't have enough water to refine this much oil. But 66 cents hurts. That is not ideal. But I don't want to switch the left side yet. We'll just sell just enough, because so, because we don't have any storage anymore. So just enough to keep up with this this pumping here. Now, of course, we could close the valve, but we frankly just don't have the time left in the year. Oil left isn't looking any better. We just gotta sell. Just gotta keep up with the rate of drawing oil out of the ground. And yeah, I think that that's gonna be the play. Just stay perfectly level with the, the right oil rig and the left for that matter. Hopefully the oil prices increase. They are coming up a little bit. There's just so much going on here. It's hard to keep track of. We got the three oil rig or the three refineries we've we've shut off for a little bit. I'm gonna switch over petrol right. 96, dude, you're killing me. You're killing me. This is terrible news. Okay. Um I mean at some point you just gotta sell, right? Even if it's not fun. I think this is where we're at. So, mm -mm -mm. gonna expand a little bit here on the right side. I'm worried we're almost in November and it's still very, very high levels of oil in that pocket and down in the middle for that matter. So I'm just gonna see if we can so turn these off. 105 oil. I, I mean, honestly, we take it. We just simply are not going to have enough time to be picky here. We have too much oil. Not enough time. And we are pulling... I think we're pulling pretty well from all these pockets here. Um, let's see. We probably need to get... Okay, we need to switch here, actually. Switch over to the right side. And let's see... Turn these off here. Hopefully we get a good petrol price. Oh, come on, dude. That's basically the oil price. <laughs> what is going on? Now oil right is dropping. Dude, these guys are mean. They are not helping us out here. Um, what else can we be doing here? I mean, I don't want to I don't want to be selling a lot at these prices, but we're running out of time. And I don't want to get stuck to where we just have to sell at whatever they give us. Let's hope there's a good petrol price on the right, and then we can switch the left off. Beautiful. Okay, 343. Send it. Send all of everything. Turn these refineries back on. Full steam ahead. This is good. This is good. We may be able to salvage after all. We just have to pull the left side back to oil. Um, we're going to sell all of the petrol we have. We're going to use up all the water possible. And then we're just gonna send it. We're actually gonna switch over here. We're done pulling water, so we're actually gonna connect to the rest of these pipelines. Make use of these huge water networks we have to pull the rest of the oil out of the ground. Okay, last month we're gonna have to just start selling a whole bunch. See what price, which whoever's highest after this release is here, we're just gonna full send everybody. Well, I guess we're going left. Alright, full send. We we can't do anything but fast forward here. Hope we clear everything out in time. This is actually going to be very close. And we didn't quite sell the rest of it, but that's fine. Okay. 
we we cut it way too close i think um in hindsight we could have done a little bit better as far as time management but it's hard when there's that many options that much oil Let's see what our graph looks like a lot of pipe spended expenditure expenditure um honestly not not too bad and here is our lovely little art piece masterpiece here um, yeah, so we had like two and a half wagons of oil left to sell. You know, it's fine. We take it. It Very solid earnings. I think my target's going to be 100,000 profit um, in, in a single year. I think that would be awesome. That'd be a good goal. Uh, this is insane, though. 83,500 is incredible. Normally, you're looking at like 40, 50,000. Okay, so we're just gonna buy up a whole bunch of stuff. Mole range seems pretty good. For 12,500, let's do it again. Yeah, for 15,000, I feel like that's probably worth it. So essentially what we're doing is you gotta dig really deep, I guess is the goal. So our target range is 200 meters here. If you dig into the water, you can get cheaper prices, um, but these these dark rocks are what rocks that you can't dig through with your pipes. You have to blow them up. I think this water on the left side is kind of a bait. We're going to go to the right side here. And let's see. So we got a, about half of our water supply. I'm going to try to route around this, this rock over here. That's just not going to cut it. We're going to have to dynamite this homie. So we can send a mole down. I don't know, this mole probably doesn't get paid enough. But we're gonna send the mole down with some dynamite. And yeah, we're just gonna cook on down here. This advanced sensor range of pipes is incredible. This is just doing perfectly for us. And yeah, let's just toss a mole down. Now keep in mind, the moles strictly look for water nearby. So, if you send him down and he doesn't find any water, there probably isn't any. Which means we're just gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. And we'll keep going, we're almost halfway there. Getting down to the 100 meter mark. And I think we just jump over here. Now when you go over, you can see we're at 2,800. Now suddenly we're at 6,500. They give you a little stipend. It's like the government, you know, you got to show that you're worth it first before they give you some grant for your research or whatever. So once we get to 100 meters, they give us a little extra boost. And I'm not seeing any water, unfortunately. Yep, it looks like we're just going to be raw dogging it. Okay, maybe... There's water over there, but that's so far to the side. Is that even worth it? I feel like it's better to just go down, you know? There could be some big old rocks over there, we don't know. And we only got two sticks of dynamite left, so we gotta be cautious. Holy water! Hit the jackpot with that one. Okay, beautiful. Down to 160, I mean... So this is the first time we went. We got to 170, but now with all these upgrades, we're just cooking. We are easily getting past here. Definitely. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Let's just go around him. I don't want to speak too soon, but with $4,000, there's no way we don't get there, right? Unless there's just a giant wall of, <laughs> a giant wall of rocks. Wowdy wow, you reached the goal. Look at that. That's what the southern people say. Include research. Um, can we... Can we keep digging? I'd like to keep going, <laughs> if you let me, but I guess we can. Alright, so we get... Aw, oh, dude, come on. This dude got 15,000 too? Ridiculous. How did he get more than 200? They didn't let me dig any further. That's cheating. Alright, well, we got it. Fantastic news.